So what's happening since I saw you when you were meeting Renzo Rosso? <laughs> yes, and we did that interview and it's beautiful and it's published in Saturday's magazine. And basically what I've been doing is developing the new collection which is called the New Moon Set. And you know that I do a lot of artist exchange with fellow artists in order to create new ideas and to sort of also build a community around my work. And I think also in the jewelry industry, um, there is a lot of um, clearly beautiful jewelry, but not that interesting of communication. So what I've been doing is creating visuals to accommodate the products. And so this season, you can see, I've actually collaborated, this is a rayogram. I've collaborated with Renato D'Agostin, and he is a, an Italian photographer who basically, he's got such a keen eye and a passionate vision that I made all the pieces and I said, I'm not going to tell you anything about the story behind this, no inspiration, I just want you to instinctively react to the pieces. And he took them and he went into the dark room. He's Ralph Gibson's assistant. He does, travels all over the world and launches exhibitions. He prints his own books. He's got a really uh, strong voice in the photography community, fine art community. And so basically I handed him over a bunch of the new collection and he made rayograms from them. And rayograms are the basic tools for developing photos and so you have emulsified paper and exposing light and negative space and this exploration between the negative space and then a concrete object which would be my jewelry. So for me what I wanted to do and not tell Renato about was my inspiration for the season which was discovering negative space and bringing value to it. So if we look at some of my pieces from the past, like the one that you're wearing, which would be this one. This is the Isis ring, and the fit is made by squeezing the piece to fit and using the negative space. So my thought process as I reevaluate this piece was, okay, I want to put something here to make it more luxurious, so I'm going to put gemstones here. But I don't necessarily want to be using just diamonds or just topaz or anything like that. I want to create something that's a little bit more organic. So I started using pearls, and I've used pearls plenty of times, but not in this application. So what I did was think about the idea of how people fit rings. And I thought, okay, I've got to start with the most basic definition of a ring, which is just a circle. And so I took, this is a 14 karat ring, and what I did is I fit pearls on the interior of the ring to occupy the negative space, which now touches the skin and creates the fit. And so now I've designed, trademarked this, and it's called Gem Fit. So now I take that and I can apply it to any piece that I've ever developed and also start discovering the emptiness between the skin and the metal. In fine jewelry what normally happens is that we have a piece of metal and then we input or place the stones inside of the metal So and then the metal touches the skin and so what I wanted to do this season was change the formula and then put the metal first, the gem second, and finally the skin last. So I sort of juxtaposed the natural order of the jewelry, and this is how this developed. So once I go here, then the next step is to figure out what I could do with all the other pieces that I've created. So this is my standard knuckle ring that I created in 2009. And here, once again, there's negative space here. And then there's an intersecting point, and your flesh can wrap over that point. Now, if you turn and look at the piece, I wanted to enable movement. So I'm embracing the fashion and the visual aspects, but then I'm investigating how to be functional with it. So I see this, and I want to be able to create more negative space. So I created this piece. 
This is 14 karat gold. So basically I made arches over, inspired by a normal jewelry setting prong, and then I can still move because it only goes up until here. Then I applied the gem fit technique and sew inside. I don't know if you can really see. They're tiny baby little pearls. And so the pearls touch me first. So it's the metal, the gem, and then the skin. And so now I've understood what the inspiration is and how I'm going to reapply the application to every piece that I make. So, for example, I'm going to take all these guys off. For example, this piece, the Isis ring, how am I going to apply this gem fit technique? So what I did, this is gold, I put three four millimeter pearls here, and when you wear it, the piece, the pearl sits on your skin and it levels off and it has a very organic kind of feeling because when we were in Arizona doing gem sourcing at the gem fair which was wild and crazy and of a different planet um, it was really really inspiring and there are certain metaphysical values that gemstones have and it's not just because it's a diamond that it has value there are these all uh, these different types of gemstones that can bring you power, that can support you when you're feeling down, that can bring you health. All of these things with me these metaphysical characteristics I wanted to imply, but not be over the top about the story or anything. So the pearl to me represents a very smooth and calm feeling, and so I'm applying it to everything. Now if you look at this piece, the Isis ring, I wanted to discover the top of the hand. So what I've done is I've created baby mini versions. And this is 14 karat gold. And then you can stack it, squeeze it, and create different looks for yourself. So all of these pieces are combinations of what I've already created and how I can reevaluate them and give them a new interesting story and what I was looking at with this piece in particular which you also have I think mm -hmm. is the handlet which once again embraces the negative space for fit so it's sort of like the bar ring it's a reiteration of the bar ring but further down on the hand and you size it from here to here with nothing so I said well wait a second I want to actually change the way that this piece looks so what I did is that I took it and I f just flipped it. And so what I do now is put the negative space on top and then I have peaking pearls here. So I'm actually holding on to the luxury and embracing the space in between my skin, the gem, and the metal. So this piece, it's so cool to wear it because with all pieces I'm always testing them out, seeing how they can align with my own persona and everything and this one for sure makes me feel like I'm owning owning my luxury because I'm holding it physically so this is quite an interesting piece and then this one is the 14 karat gold handlet and then here we also have the peaking pearls so the pearls are actually sort of like luxury acupuncture with no piercing it just has pressure points that I can feel and it makes you aware of, of your body and how it functions and how it is in the world and always with my stuff I always want to understand the complexity of choices and the psycho psychoanalytic side of jewelry which is on the interior and when you wear the jewelry it's explained and communicated on the outside, on the surface of your skin. So this collection has been quite an amazing pursuit of finding new ideas. What about this one? And this is from Bliss's collection here. This mm -hmm. is from her Unhinged collection, which she can totally walk you through. Oh, she has. Yeah, she already. You can stop it there. <laughs>
You're welcome. <laughs>